Oh, Silver. Silver came up with the perfect punch at the right time inside the gloves of Ortiz. I'm watching and I'm staying ready and I'm always ready. So if I tell you I've been training and I'm ready for the fight, I'm training and I'm ready for the fight. And it's official. It looks like Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter have agreed to terms. The fight will happen November 20th at the Michelob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas. And it was rumored that this fight wouldn't be pay-per-view. Well, folks, that's all it was is a rumor. The fight will be on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. An agreement was reached just in time to cancel the purse bid. And we can thank Eddie Hearn for that because he was coming to get that fight and put it on the zone. And you know, Bob Arum and Al Heyman was not trying to see that. Now, before the excuses start, age is not gonna be a factor in this fight. Terrence Crawford actually is a month older than Sean Porter. Neither one of these guys are spring chickens. Age-wise, these guys will be both 34 when this fight happens, which means they'll be approaching the end of their prime. Sean Porter will be trying to win his third welterweight title. Crawford's hoping for a future Errol Spence fight or, you know, just getting a better opponents, bigger fights in the future if he wins. I think Sean Porter is a real game opponent. He's fast starter and he will give Crawford problems at the beginning. But I expect Crawford to win either by late stoppage or decision. But like I said, Porter is a tough competitor. He gave Spence all he can handle, and some people thought he beat Spence. I mean, if he don't show up, you know, he's going to have to suffer the consequences, the penalties that has been set for. You know, if he don't fight, then pay me, pay me what you're supposed to pay me, and then you'll have to give up that belt as well. So it's a win-win situation for me. It's a lose-lose situation for him. Wilder feels that Tyson Fury has been trying to get out the fight since July 24th. He believes Fury was lying about COVID, and he's not the only one. Wilder fans, Tyson Fury fans, boxing fans alike, thought it was a little suspicious that Tyson Fury was traveling everywhere with COVID. And Wilder believes history will repeat itself. Fury will try some type of way to get out this fight. Now, one thing, I don't agree with a lot of things Wilder says, but I do agree with this. And Joshua says the same thing about Fury. Fury does pull out a lot of fights. If you look at his history, check his history out. There's been a lot of fights Fury has pulled out of. And some of my friends are Wilder fans, and they do have a point when they say this. Going into this fight, Fury has much more to lose than Wilder has. If he loses to Wilder, the $100 million fight with Joshua, what well, Joshua worry about Uzik, if Joshua gets past Uzik, and if Fury loses to Wilder, that $100 million is down the drain. Now, if Fury did not have COVID-19, I think the reason he did pull out this time is because he wasn't properly ready to fight Deontay Wilder. He was a little out of shape and he probably was getting handled by his spar partners. I think by October 9th, he's gonna be ready and I expect him to be sharp and end this thing. But this is the heavyweight division and anything can happen. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.